G'day, Will Schofield here with the Eagles in Isolation podcast, proudly brought to you by AGL, the energy within the Eagles. Today, we are joined by the one and only, the youngest man to three all Australians in history, the history of the AFL, Jeremy McGovern. How are you, mate? I'm good, Will. Thanks for that great introduction. Is it three all Australians or four? Uh, I believe it's four. Great. So I stuffed that and up. I, That's all right, I believe, though. I, I believe you know that. You just wanted me to repeat it. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. I was going to start with, do you think that it's true that I've taught you pretty much everything you know on the football field? Uh, yeah, but um, I'd be lying. Um, <laughs> no, I, I've learned a fair bit off you, Sco. I will give you that. That's good, mate. Um, what have you been doing with yourself in isolation, away from the footy club? Have you been training? Yeah, I've, I've been training. Uh, only in pairs, obviously. We're... Um, well, like no, everyone else uh, around the Australia and the world at the moment and trying to isolate as much as possible. So um, I've just been training in a pair with Joshy Rotham and uh, trying to get as many kicks in as we can. And But we've uh, been on a fair bit of running, so uh, it hasn't been too enjoyable. I know that this would be a silver lining, but the timing was okay for you given that you were, you were battling to be ready for round one, weren't you? Yeah, I was pushing it. I was pushing it pretty close and... Um, I ended up getting there in the end and playing, but uh, another couple of uh, weeks off wouldn't hurt uh, on the injury front for me, but I'd love to be out there realistically playing. That's true, mate. So would I. Now, I've got some questions from the fans for you this week. Uh, enough from me. Lauren Corney asks, the goal after the siren against Port Adelaide, what was really going through your head? Not much. If you had a good look at my head, uh, it was <laughs> what, pretty. <laughs> it was not pretty. Um, I carried on a fair bit. Um, I just wanted to get around the boys, to be honest. I just wanted to hug as many blokes as I could. Uh, Shuey obviously did it the year before in big, obviously bigger circumstances. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to hug the boys to get around them. The other major difference between you and Luke was he kicked a drop punt and you kicked yours off your shin. Yes. It wasn't off my shin, Will. It, it was um, off, the side of, off the side of my right hoof. Um yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm the first one to admit it. I did not flush that ball, but that's what happens when you kick through at kids. It'll still go straight. You've heard it here first. Sonia Mormon asks, what are your favourite hobbies in isolation? My favourite hobbies? See, yeah, I don't really have isolation hobbies. I'm the, my hobbies are get out of the house normally. Um, I've been doing a fair <laughs> bit of gardening. Um, I like to go fishing, but obviously with those sort of restrictions, it makes it hard. Part of the reason I like to go fishing is to um, enjoy time with friends but uh, it's a bit hard when you've only got one person to choose from and I've got plenty of friends at the moment so uh, it makes it very, <laughs> very hard to choose from but um, no I've been doing gardening around the house playing with Hudson a fair bit but um, I don't have a hobby isolation hobby yet. Okay well it sounds like fishing and gardening are your hobbies and you've got one mate and his name's Darcy. Dean Cook asks yes. how did you feel when Dean Cox handed over Guernsey number 22. I've never actually been asked. I actually felt good. Um, I was always prancing around telling everyone I'd stay the number that I was first given um, until Coxie asked you <laughs> if you want to swap numbers. I buckled at the knees straight away and started crying and said yes. <laughs> but, um, no, nah, it, was, it was nice. Um, it was a nice gesture from Coxie. I've always loved Coxie the not just the player, but the person he is. So to wear his numbers, great. And to be honest, there wasn't too many other people who'd fit in it. So I think he, he only really had one choice. It was only me. <sighs> and were you, was it tight for you or was it a bit baggy, that jumper? Surprisingly very baggy on me. Um, I'm, <laughs> sure, I'm sure the back end of my career, it'll, be, it'll tighten up a little bit. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, old Rubber Arm McGovern uh, moving from 42 to 20. Ben Rowden asks, what is your favourite opposition team to play against? Oh, favourite team to play against? Um, I don't really have a favourite. Uh, oh, you, we want to play against the best teams, I guess. We've had a good um, couple of games, a bit of rivalry with Collingwood, obviously, over the years, so it's always good to play them. Um but I look, to be honest, I don't really have a favourite team. I'm happy to play anyone. But you want to try to play the best teams as much as possible. Like that. Uh, Rachel Mortimer asks, and I'm interested too, what's your favourite movie, Gov? Well, I get asked this. We fill out these questionnaires every year and I forget them. Um, Coach Carter. <laughs> pretty generic. 
I actually don't watch yep. a lot of movies, but um, Coach Carter's a good one. The Mighty Ducks. I used to love the Mighty Ducks. More importantly, Anna Swider asks, do you like coriander? Yeah, I don't mind coriander. I've actually got it growing in my backyard at the moment, coriander. Yeah, I don't mind it. What's that? That's, 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 that was a hard-hitting question from one of the fans, mate. One of the greatest I've ever heard. I do like <laughs> Uh, Jason Mudridge asks, where do you keep your premiership medal when you're not wearing it around the club? Yeah. Or well, other than my neck um, and my pocket, uh, I actually don't know where it is. I'm just trying to think. I th- I've got it in my safe, I think, um, at home. I've got it in my safe, yeah. So it stays in the safe. I bring it out probably three or four times a day on average. Combat. Combination is 20, 20, 20. Julia, 40, uh, 423 asks, who is the toughest player you've lined up against? Not just physically, but banter as well. Oh, oh Bud, Buddy's obviously one of the best. Tom Lynch. Um, I'm just trying to think banter-wise. Buddy's got pretty Tomahawk, good chat. A, yeah, he's got good chat. We've had a bit with Tomahawk over the years. Uh, mm. Um. I'm just trying to think. Actually, Toby Green. I actually, he's got good banter, but, but I like it. I don't know. It's not like a frustrating banter. He like stares you up. Chat. Yeah, it's actually yeah. a bit of chat. But you're thinking, oh, is he actually taking the Mickey out of me here, or is he, <laughs> is he just <laughs> be, having a joke? He's actually got good banter, and he plays pretty hard. So, Toby Green's pretty good. You've got pretty ban- good banter. You'd rate yours. Oh, I just stick up for myself, Will. And I've, I've heard them all, all the banter gags under the sun. They get thrown at me a fair bit. Yeah, yeah. You've, you've, you've got the old uh, self-deprecating nature in your banter. You give yourself <laughs> a, bit of, a bit of something to give a bit out. I know. It always seems to escalate when you're playing for some reason. Yeah, I do like to escalate things. That's probably what landed me in a bit of hot water with old Tomahawk last year. Now, that was uh, Eagles in Isolation podcast. You were with Will Schofield, Jeremy McGovern, the two great backmen, proudly presented by AGL, the energy within the Eagles. Gov, thanks for joining us, mate. No worries. Thanks for having me.